A Baltimore City mom has been going to school with her seven-year-old son every day for months. Project Baltimore's Chris Papps explains the mother can't trust her son's school to manage his medical condition because even though city schools receive millions of dollars to hire health care professionals, there's still not enough nurses available. Tashana Goodman and her son Jamie Washington are getting ready for school. Trying to feed them breakfast. Every day. It's a mess. I'm sorry. <laughs> they go through the same routine. Yeah. Not because they want to. It's hard, you know, because, like, it's, it's a lot we have to go through. But because they have to. Just take your time. It makes him feel like an out, uh, out, outcast. Jamie has type 1 diabetes. Checking his glucose lab, um, level, um, and this norm was 118, so that's good. I wish I could take it from him and give it to myself. He was diagnosed nearly two years ago when he was five. For this mother, I'm sorry, but it's a problem. It's hard to talk about. Jamie is in second grade at Hilton Elementary in West Baltimore. Last year, he learned from home. Jay, you have your food? But this year, Goodman wanted her son to be able to go to school with his friends. In September, she applied for Jamie to have a private duty nurse at school. As a type 1 diabetic, Jamie's blood sugar needs constant monitoring. If it hits dangerous levels, insulin may need to be injected, which he can't do himself. Goodman applied for that private duty nurse nearly four months ago. She hasn't heard back. What my son's supposed to do, just sit there and um, die? I'm sorry, but that's how I'm going to put it, because if he don't get his insulin, he'll get sick, you know? So now, every morning, when Goodman gets her son ready for school, she also gets herself ready. Since September, this mother and son have been going to school together. I sit with him all day long. All every day? day. Long. Every class to class, everything. Lunchtime until the end of the school day, we come back home. Hilton Elementary does have a nurse. The problem is that nurse covers three schools. Well, I know nobody at school would know how to handle him if I leave him there by himself. This definitely impacts the performance of children in school, the, the health healthcare issues. The blueprint for Maryland's future, also known as the Kerwin Plan, was passed by Maryland's legislature in 2021. Earlier this year, right. we spoke with Britt Kerwin about a provision in that bill concerning nurses at low-income schools. We all recognize that in this country, uh, low-income people don't have access to health care. Uh, that more affluent families uh, do have. Under Kerwin, schools with high concentrations of poverty shall provide full-time coverage by at least one professional health care practitioner. City schools this year received $32 million from the Kerwin Plan's Concentration of Poverty grant, in part, for low-income students to have a full-time nurse. Baltimore City has 121 high-poverty schools. 89 of them share nurses, which includes Hilton Elementary. If a nurse covers multiple schools, they can't always be there. So Goodman has to be, which impacts her ability to work and support her family. By ensuring that there was uh, highly qualified health care deliverers in each school, we could mitigate uh, the disadvantage that low-income kids have. But that does not seem to be happening at Hilton. City schools received the funding, but did not hire the nurses. The district blamed a nursing shortage and said the money was used on other student services. The Maryland State Department of Education told Fox 45, city schools is not breaking the law because the state interprets full-time coverage as in-person, virtual or other method. But for families like Goodman's, that definition of full time is not helping them. A virtual nurse cannot inject a student with insulin. Whoever's in charge, that's who I have the, the attitude with because you're not helping my son. And go up this. If something happens to Jamie, 
he needs a nurse with him, which is why Goodman applied for a private duty nurse. City Schools has known for nearly two years that Jamie has diabetes. Now, this family is just waiting for the help that taxpayers have already paid for. I'm very disappointed. I'm angry because, like I said, my son shouldn't have to go through that. It's not just about me. It's basically like they ignore ignoring him, you know, and I don't like that. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore.